Let's all be someone different today. Welcome, oh, Provo. Welcome, Provo. What's up, Provo? Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. You are listening to Provo Podcast, the weekly internet radio show of Provo, Utah. We are dreamers, shapers, singers, and makers. We study the mysteries of laser and circuit. To be absolutely honest, with your rather limited experience in education, you're better off sticking to redundant duties. How do you feel about filing? Number two, Provo Podcast, number two. Hi, this is Jim and Jim. We are coming to you in the studio. We welcome you to Provo Podcast number two, and we can't tell you guys how excited we are. We got a million emails from you last week asking us what the heck is a podcast, so, you know, we're going to debunk any of those myths right about now. We've got an incredible show for you today. Uh, In the studio, we have Mr. Drew Denberry. Let's give a round of applause. And uh, we're going to start this off with a remix by OK Kumi of Decadence's song, We've Got a Long Way Left to Walk. Hit it. Let's go.
but I'm specifically referring to the, to the musical group known as uh, Mastodon Universe Creation. <laughs> they were originally, I mean, this is what they tell me. They were originally, uh, you know, there were four students, they were going to school in Payson. Apparently, uh, you know, listening to such groups as, you know, the Mamas and the Papas. Jefferson Starship. You know, that kind of thing that was kind of looked down upon, but these four guys, you know, they'd go over, they had listening parties, they'd get out their fondues, and they'd start jamming. And so one of them decided to start to start this little this little uh, musical group called Mastodon uh, Universe Creation. Do you remember anything about that or any of those their releases? It was something? Oh yeah, know. yeah. What was interesting about that band? Their first release, which was called "The Click," is not clicking, which is kind of a play on words. Which, for some of our older listeners, I think you'll understand what we're referring to. Um, it came out in a time where conservative values were king. I mean, when we hear about what happened with Gwen Stefani and, and Kurt Cobain, and and then we later hear, you know, about how you know Peter Beinhart really took that and just took it to a whole new level. <laughs> but the I thing mean, is, is this Mastodon band when they came out with their second release, Provo is the biggest bubble, and when it pops, we'll all be in big trouble. It came at a time when what they were saying it really had had it needed to be said, basically. But right. not only that, but what they were saying. It, it needed to be spoken as well. And so the album, not being musical, more of a spoken word type album, it came at a time when there was so much fun going on in the valley, it needed to, they needed to step back and look at what they were doing. Right, And right. say, what are we doing? Mm -hmm. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, and, and, I, and I, I, I don't know if this, these rumors are true. I heard that the, uh, the release of the Macedon album actually inspired uh, John Coltrane. John Coltrane. Um, Gladys Knight, and then, I don't know if this is true or not, but I hear that there is a direct correlation between the establishment of Hoagie Yogi. I mean, I don't know if this is true, the establishment of Hoagie Yogi was a direct, you know, response to the release of the second Macedon Universe creation. Oh, in all actuality, it was. You see, Hoagie Yogi, they realized that there was a market for sandwiches. In Mastodon, they realized this, this wedding between Hoagie Yogi and Mastodon Universe Creation. And what's ironic now is that 15 years later, Hoagie Yogi's still around, and Mastodon Resurrection changed the name to Coldplay and just released a new album. It's called, um, it's called Y When You Can Be X. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> cue the music. Today in the studio with us, we have uh, a very welcome friend from coming to us from the Northwest. We have Mr. Drew Danbury. Why don't you say hello to us, Mr. Drew? Hi. <laughs> there we go. W welcome, Drew. Thank you. Um, so, our format for today may be a little bit different from last time. We're going to have uh, a blessing, if you will, uh, of music by Drew Danbury. He's going to actually perform some stuff in the studio live. And then, uh, and then you know, we're going to be able to ask him a few questions, maybe um, get some pointers on how we can become a little more Drew. Um, so, without further ado, let's start, let's start it off with, uh, with a song from, from our main guest. Um, what's, what's this first tune gonna be? Mr. D. Um, I don't know. Mr. Double D. Alright, let's get this set up. So I just wanted to... No. Who's a boy she's sitting by? Are they just friends? Was she so nice to me? Was she light up the room when she smiles? Till I can't see clearly it must be Love if you mean so much When I barely even know you But I hope that our hands might touch Fight it, deny it Just fight it, deny it Don't let yourself fall in I 
See, there's no point in trying. I'm only fooling with myself. I'm not your type. But I'll appreciate and stare at scorched eyes I could fall into. And when I'm through, walk away. But remember, just you. Give the girl you love the time of day, but don't jump right in and give your heart away. Fight it, deny it. Just fight it, deny it. Don't let yourself fall in. Amor. Yeah. Woo. Oh, you guys. Are any of those on record? Mm-hmm. Like, um, the one first one? and the, this last one. The second one isn't. The second one isn't. That's going to go on an EP. Have you recorded it yet? Nope. I'm going to record it up in Washington with my friend, Ryland. Are you, you going to orchestrate it with anything else? I don't know. It's going to be a children's book. So I don't know if I want it to be like a full band or just like acoustic solo stuff. I don't I haven't figured out the aesthetic, but I think I'm going for a full band orchestrated sound. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if I get Sounds I make things with this independence Think I found a father, the one that was gonna come But I don't believe Obviously Drunk with sleep, I flaunt the flounder Tumbling with my tongue in hand They asked for good songs to remember Escapism's in demand The war of outright honesty Unbroken promises don't shake She's the one that made me quiver But then help show me the way Morbid attempts Construct our words to heaven The glass is spent No solvent seems to solve the ball If we're both willing How can we cause pain? Comes chilling how we repeat the same crumbs each night. If we're both willing, how can we cause pain? It becomes so we just. Father, we're all drowned in stains Grow accustomed to it, uniquely all the same Feels a helpless father, in glass we're all found framed And set in stone, and poised to die, stick to plunge into the grave You keep, you quiet down now Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry Jim Sometimes I just, I mean, when Drew's in the studio, I mean, this is your, what, your fifth time here at Provo Podcast? Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I love hanging out here. It's been the a while. The lemonade's great. <laughs> it's been a while, though. I mean, what, what was it like? I don't think Drew's been in the studio since, what, two years ago? Yeah, I remember the, I, I kind of miss the flowers that used to be here. Yeah. They, they were. <laughs> well, 
We asked all you uh, little kittens out there to submit some music we could use on our, our podcast. And this this is a submission by a band called Return to Sender. They're from uh, the good state of Utah. Utah, Utah, in Utah. So, um, let's give that a little, little looky-see, huh? is a nation by return to sender you're listening to provo podcast guys this is our second podcast of the provo podcast annual season year annual and and next next week we're going to be having the used join us in the studio that's right give it up for them let's give it up for the they're used. natives they're natives here um and from orem 
Mm-hmm. That's going to be really exciting to have them in the studio. And uh, Donny Osmond, I think, is going to be coming. I think so. Um, they may be doing a collaboration, so just just watch out and get excited. And bar yourselves. Bar yourselves. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, submit at provopodcast.com. And make sure you leave some comments. We need to know how you're doing. And uh, we've already got a few submissions. If you want to go to the provopodcast.com or if you want to go to myspace.com uh, forward slash provo podcast it doesn't matter we love you but we just have to say for now goodbye and keep the push in it this concludes the broadcast from world control ppc-02